Hello, how to solve for s in this equation 256 to the power of s plus 256 to the power of s plus 16 to the power of x is equal to 1. If you look at this, this is 16 to the power of s. Then 256 to the power of s can be written as 16 square to the power of s plus this same thing as 16 square to the power of s plus 16 to the power of s is equal to 1. Now take note of this that if you have a raised to power m to the power of n, this is equal to a raised to power n to the power of m, this is equal to a raised to power m n. Then this can be written as 16 to the power of s all square plus 16 to the power of s all square plus 16 to the power of s is equal to 1. Let 16 to the power of s is equal to y. This is y square plus y square plus y is equal to 1. Then y square plus y square, this is 2 y square plus y is equal to 1. Now this is 2 y square plus y minus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation which can be solved using quadratic general formula. In this equation, a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, c is equal to minus 1. And our quadratic general formula is given as y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now let's substitute. We have y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 2 multiplied by c is minus 1 over 2 multiplied by a is 2. Now y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared, this is 1, minus 4 times 2 times minus 1, that is plus 8 over 2 times 2, that is 4. 4. Now y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 8, this is 9 over 4. Then y is equal to minus 1 plus or minus square root of 9. This is 3 over 4. Therefore, y is equal to minus 1 plus 3 over 4 or y is equal to minus 1 minus 3 over 4. Then from here, y is equal to minus 1 plus 3 over 4. This is 2 over 4. Or oh, y is equal to minus 1 minus 3 over 4. This is minus 4 over 4. y is equal to 1 over 2. Or oh, y is equal to 4a1, 4a1 minus 1. But 16 to the power of s is equal to y. Then 16 to the power of s is equal to 1 over 2 or 16 to the power of s is equal to minus 1. But here this is positive, this is negative. So this is rejected. The only resolution we have is 16 to the power of s is equal to 1 over 2. Then from here, we have 16 
to the power of s is equal to 1 over 2. Now, 16 can be written as 2 to the power of 4 to the power of s is equal to, this can be written as 2 to the power of minus 1. Then, from here, we have 2 to the power of 4 times s. 4 s is equal to 2 to the power of minus 1. That is from this rule that a raised to power n to the power of n is equal to a raised to power m n. And then here, because of the same base, we have 4 s is equal to minus 1. Let's divide both sides by 4. Divided by 4, this will cancel this. S is equal to minus 1 over 4. This is the final answer. We can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong. Let's check. To check, we have the given equation. 2, 5, 6 to the power of S plus 2, 5, 6 to the power of S plus 16 to the power of S is equal to 1. When S is equal to minus 1 over 4, this is 2, 5, 6 to the power of minus 1 over 4 plus 2, 5, 6 to the power of minus 1 over 4. Plus 16 to the power of minus 1 over 4 is equal to 1. Then 2, 5, 6 to the power of 1 over 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 8 to the power of minus 1 over 4 plus 2 raised to the power 8 to the power of minus 1 over 4 plus 16 is 2 raised to the power 4 to the power of minus 1 over 4 is equal to must be equal to 1. Now let's see. 4 year 1, 4 year 2, 4 year 1, 4 year 2. This we cancel this. We have 2 square to the power of minus 1 plus 2 square to the power of minus 1 plus 2 to the power of minus 1 must be equal to 1. This is 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 2 raised to power minus 2 plus 2 raised to power minus 1 must be equal to 1. Then this can be written as 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 2 square plus 1 over 2 must be equal to 1. 8 is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 must be equal to 1. SCM here is 4. Then this is 1 plus 1 plus 2 must be equal to 1. Then this is 4 over 4 must be equal to 1. 4 year 1, 4 year 1. Then this is 1 is equal to 1, which is true. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.